actually my first encounter with uh, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew was when I was called up for uh, an interview because um, he was looking for a new principal private secretary and uh, a few candidates were put up so I was one of them so I turned up one weekday afternoon and you know the first thing I went in I was a bit shocked because he looked at my CV and he said he used my Chinese name Chan Heng Lun you don't qualify that's the end of the interview so I was really shocked and I said uh, Mr. Lee may uh, I know the reason why I have I'm disqualified he said your Chinese is no good you only got C6 for your Chinese. Therefore, you are not good enough to be my principal private secretary. So I told Mr. Lee, I said, Mr. Lee, can you allow me to say a few things? And he said, sure, go ahead. And I said, sir, I've always been very proud of my Chinese language. I always feel that I'm good in Chinese. And uh, this particular O-level results was the business, biggest disappointment in my life. Somehow I didn't get a good grade. But I, I was one of the 10% of students who passed prelim in uh, Raffles Institution. I said 10%? I said, yeah. But O-levels, I don't know what happened. Then we started, then he started quizzing me. You know, what do you read? What books do you read? And then he was uh, surprised that I started reading Nanyang Xiang Pao at the age of seven. <laughs> and I read every copy of the uh, Ya Zhou Zhou Kan, Asia Weekly, and then on and on. Then after about half an hour of interview, they said, okay, you go and take the written exam. We also had written exams in case you don't know. <laughs> and then, lo and behold, I was uh, selected. And I guess I think uh, what I'm grateful is that when you tell him that you are good, he will take you at face value. But he would also want to test you. Because I remember shortly, one week after I became his PPS, he told me, um, Alan, follow me to a trip on Taiwan. I'm going to meet the Taiwanese leaders to have a discussion with them. So I went there and the discussion actually lasted the whole day. From 10 a.m. in the morning to lunch time, lunch break, afternoon another conversation until about 6 o'clock stop and then after dinner discussion again because they were discussing political and trade matters and I was there doing notes and when the that day's meeting ended at 10 o'clock in the evening. He told me, give me the minutes tomorrow morning, verbatim. So I said, <laughs> oh, okay. So um, I, 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 I almost didn't sleep uh, the night before and that night I wrote out all the minutes and I passed it up to him the next morning. Mm -hmm. And he read the minutes and said, Alan, you passed. So I think I, I was really gratified. <laughs>